Good evening and welcome to another special edition of Miami County Monthly News. Our goal here at MCMN is to bring you positive news stories about Peru and Miami County, Indiana. Last fall, Miami County Monthly News covered several positive events in Miami County. However, we still have not published them. Our goal is to bring you positive news stories, not necessarily timely stories. Yes. It would have been better to bring you these stories in a more timely fashion, however, they are still positive stories. We would like to bring you these stories before the end of the year so we can share with you some positive events that happened in Miami County during 2016. This special edition is about the second annual first brush of fall that was held in Converse, Indiana on September 24. This event not only gave an opportunity for local artists to showcase their talent, but it also brought many artists from outside of Miami County. Alright, we're here with Avon Waters, who is the host artist, a host eye papa artist for the uh, first brush of fall paint off today in Converse, Indiana. Uh, first of all, what does IPAPA stand for? IPAPA is the Indiana Plain Air Painters Association. It's a group of about 300 painters that paint outdoors. Alright, so what can you tell us about this event this morning, or all day event? Yeah, it's, um, if anybody's ever been to a fishing tournament or a bass tournament, it's a lot like that. The artists all check in, uh, they checked in this morning at a certain time and then uh, instead of a gun going off and you scatter to your favorite fishing hole, these artists scatter to their favorite uh, item that they might have scouted out to, to, uh, to paint. Then they all check back in at 3.30 and instead of weighing the fish, we, the uh, judges come along and uh, take a look at uh, the quality of the work and they're judged on that with the competition and then they have a sale. So they all come back up this afternoon around 3, 3.30, and then they're to be judged, and then uh, they exhibit them here in the, uh, here in the Common here Park. In the Commons Park, um, they will submit one work, and then many of these artists will do uh, two, three, four paintings during the day. They paint very rapidly, and they'll be showing the ones they don't put in for judging. Uh, and the general public will come here and, and see what they've done today. And have an opportunity to work with the artist to buy it if to they'd like it, it right. something. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how many uh, artists do you plan it on today? We had 76 register, and I imagine uh, things come up in people's lives. I imagine we'll have about um, 55 or 60. All right. How far away are they coming from? We have one lady who's already checked in from Akron, Ohio. Uh, we've had an artist from Chicago. Uh, there's a lady who, her address is New Mexico. Who, I don't know whether she's passing through or what, but uh, we've got at least four or five states represented. All right. Steve Reif, who is uh, one of the the other main organizer for the event. We've interviewed Avon. He's the artist slash director, and I'd say you're kind of the producer. So what can you tell us about the event today? Well, we came, we're coming off of uh, last night, which was really, uh, uh, it, it was noticed by a lot of people, uh, and it was a great uh, kickoff for uh, with the swamp water stompers and uh, today we're looking at uh, well over what uh, attended last year artists 
I noticed just talking to some, some of them, uh, there's a number from uh, Indianapolis area, uh, some from Ohio, um, pretty much all over. And uh, I have next to me one of the artists that I uh, purchased uh, uh, a painting from. Actually, it was in this location, and it was a old red Studebaker truck. The thing I've noticed about all the artists, they have a different perspective of what they see. And uh, Alexa here, who is a former student of mine, um, I noticed in fifth grade, she was very good with, with interpreting what she saw on paper. And uh, I, I was really happy to be able to, to purchase what, what she did. And she's kind of an example of the, the different, many different uh, levels, ages of uh, artists here today. And uh, she might want to say something about how she sees. That isn't necessarily her, her uh, passion as an artist. She likes to do ceramics, but tell them about it. Um, so yeah, last year was my first time being here in Converse for the paint out. And um, it was an incredible experience. I got here really early, probably earlier than I would normally wake up. Um, but I drove out and found some sunflower fields and there were some of the most beautiful sites that I've ever seen. Um, and I think that being here uh, really illuminates the essence of Converse and um, getting to see a town that most people don't think of as artistic and bringing artists around for that. Right. Well, thanks. So you got any plans for, for today? You've decided where you're headed or I anything? I haven't gotten to scope it out yet. Um, I'm thinking more in the woods today since last year I kind of focused more in town. Um, so getting around to explore that would be nice. All right. Well, thanks to both of you and I hope you both have a good day. And uh, you got a lot of sponsors. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Donating for the prizes yeah. and all that. So we are really thankful for our sponsors. They almost did. We have not twisted any arms, honestly. Uh, it's been easy. They see the they see what you've done. And many of our sponsors, local, they they like to put it back into the community. Yeah, whether some, it's athletics or, or yeah, art. something like this couldn't happen without them, could it? That's right. Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Okay. All right, we're here with Laura Dressler. She came all the way from Akron, Ohio to paint today in Converse, Indiana. Got it early start, huh? Yes, I did. I came last night and did some of the nocturnal painting. All right. Found out that wasn't very easy. Yeah, I bet. So is this your second year here? Or were you here last year? Or? No, I couldn't make it last year. Uh, I heard about this and decided I'd come this year. All right, what do you think about this event? Oh, I, I think it's one of the best planned painting events I've ever been to. There's a lot of great places mapped out for us to go to, and uh, somebody has gotten permission for us to paint in people's private property, and it's it's really well or very well organized. All right. Well, have a good day, and thank you for your time. Enjoy your stay in Miami County. Okay. I like it here so far. <laughs> thank you.
from Fort Wayne, Indiana. What brings you to Converse today, Miami County, Indiana? The first brush of fall paint out. We were invited by Avon Waters and we're members of Indiana Plein Air Painters Association. All right. Is this your second time here? Yes, it is. Do you like this event? We love this event. Yeah? Yep. The people of the town are very friendly. They've opened up their properties for us to paint. There's a beautiful winery here. We're gonna go out to the sunflower field later. And last year we painted down by the seven pillars. Oh, that's beautiful, it isn't it? It's gorgeous down I there. I just talking to a lady from Akron, Ohio, and I said, if you get a chance, have you seen the seven pillars? He says, yes. no. I said, even if you don't get to paint it, go down there and just look at it, because yes. it's just an amazing natural yes. part of Miami County. It so. really is, it's beautiful. All right, well, thanks for your time, and you guys have a good, good time here in Miami County. Thank you very much. Will do. All right, we're here with J.O. Buffington and Tim Swaggerly, local brew artists, and uh, what brings you to Converse today? The paint out. The, the second Converse, annual. The second annual brush of fall. First brush of fall. Were you here last year? Yes. I hear you guys were here, la were you guys here last night also, Peyton? Yeah, last year, last, last night, night Peyton. Last year. We got paintings on that, we're ready to go for that. Yeah, we're having fun. You having fun? Oh yeah. A lot of painters out. I've I've got a few some great videos, some interviews of some people, and they're having, everybody seems to be having a lot of fun. Oh yeah, that yeah, is. You how many paintings do you have finished already? Just you've got that I one. Got done. Getting ready to do another one. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do? But I'm going to do something. How often do you guys participate in events like this? Uh, once a year. <laughs> You're once a year. It's the only one we have. We know about. Yeah. Yeah, the it's others close are enough. The other I, ones are too far away. Yeah, I think maybe next year though we're gonna. Well, I'm gonna participate in a little more. All right, Teo, you've been an artist for a long time, huh? Been an artist. I've painted probably for 40 years, no oh, more than that. Um, I taught public schools from kindergarten through high school for about 38 years. I've taught uh, adult painting, watercolor uh, for probably over 40 years, too. Um, yep, I painted a long time. Yeah, I've seen some of your work. I, I I like your work, and I think a lot of people appreciate what you do. Thank you. Well, you guys have a good time today, and good luck in the competition. Will you be entering in the competition? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! All right. We'll be right there. All right. Well, thanks, guys. For sure. sure.